Who would ever actually give me a permit to do stuff like this? Well, enjoy your new home. Watch out for the tarantulas, they get frisky at night. Apparently people don't like these. And my enormous flower patch isn't enough to make up for that. So I'm off to circle the whole island and remove every single stump. And because there's a lot of stumps, we're gonna need a better shovel. Plus the island's gonna be so much easier to walk around once these are gone. Just gotta find a way to get rid of these. I just want a fully upgraded island with all the stuff without any of the characters. The island is now stump free. I'll take my reward now. Okay, so if stumps weren't the problem, then maybe it's simply just a lack of trees. We can plant these easy enough. We can even buy them five at a time. What's not to like? And though I should have been paying more attention to the tools, I didn't realize I could have been buying these things all along. That's way faster than crafting. If 50 brand new cedar trees doesn't convince them, nothing will. And I'm gonna plant them some over there where they're way out of my way. I could have been nice for gathering wood, but not a lot of fun to walk through. And let's face it, I'm all about convenience, says the guy planting 50 trees. How long do trees take to grow? I guess it doesn't really matter considering I'll be here for like a thousand years. 50 brand new trees planted all up here where they should be out of the way, or good for wood later. Still waiting on a new neighbor. Since I've learned I can buy tools, I'm gonna keep about $100,000 on me at any one time for tools. The first thing I want is a better watering can. And also the shovel, which I'm hoping is better than the basic. Because I just want to water things until I have a million miles. I think I just got the notification. There it is. 500 flowers watered, 2,000 miles. That's not actually that bad if I do it on a fresh day because I've got all these flowers to water and I think I could do five or six at a time. Plus I got a bunch of miles probably for planting trees would be my guess because there's no other reason I should have been awarded thousands of miles suddenly. Finally a game that rewards my random stupidity. Well let's give it a few days and see if those trees grow. Hey we got a new person somehow. Some of my trees sprouted. Maybe we just need more of them. After looking at that I'm pretty sure they can't have anything around them otherwise they won't grow. A log house? Oh no get him before he gets me. Oh good another dinosaur. There's a pink one outside you probably want to ignore. Yeah I don't have time for you either. Oh good, he forgot about me. Anyways, we need more houses for more idiots. Or I'm at the maximum number of houses because I'm not allowed to build anymore. They're offering me ramps, but they're not very cheap. Building a wooden ramp cost me $130,000. And as much as I like spending money on stupid things, that's unnecessary. Well, since I have 6,000 miles, I don't really need to go traveling to other islands right now. I can buy some very cheap fencing and other recipes. I'm just going to cover the island in this crap. And with the wave breaker, there's all my points spent. I was hoping that new fence would be a lot cheaper to build. I can build it, but not for that cost. These are better, only 12 stones. Running a little short on some other things. I don't know I could put stuff on the rocks over here. That's way better. They'll be way out of the way. Drinking fountain right here. And that is perfect. This is the perfect spot for a signpost and glowing ground. One money tree coming up. Can we do that with 99,000 bells? Does that work? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Hi, happy bear thing. I'd invite you to stay on my island, but the mayor kind of revoked my privileges. Oh, we're at it. I'm gonna bring two fossils to the owl, because hopefully that's good for some miles, which in turn turn into more items, which in turn turn into more progress. I think that one would go great right here. And then whatever this one is, is gonna go right here. There we go. We don't need a museum. The island is a museum. Then we're gonna make whatever this thing is. And then we're gonna put that right here to show the people coming to the island that nothing here is gonna make a lot of sense. Well, let's give it another day or two and see if my trees grow up and if they'll let me move on to the next task. One day later and I forgot what I'm waiting for. Those trees are definitely getting bigger though, except for the ones that won't grow, but also waiting on the money tree. Today's the fishing tournament, but we're gonna have one less competitor than usual. Don't have time for you creepy weirdos, I need your best fishing rod. Now, how exactly does this work and can I just pay you to win? As many fish as I can in three minutes. You're talking to a guy wearing a leaf mask, I can do anything. All right, well, let's uh, give it a try. If all I have to do is catch fish, that's easy. Three minutes. And the first thing my idiot does is pulls out his shovel. All right, first of all, we're gonna need one of our fishing rods. And then it's just a matter of waiting for a fish to actually spawn somewhere. Did everyone already catch all the fish? I haven't seen a single one yet. These guys get it. Fishing where there's no fish at all to be seen. Wow, 45 seconds later, my first fish. Number one, a loach. Number two, a bass. Now number three, and number three is a seahorse. What happens if I just want to eat that and I don't want to enter it in a contest? Somehow I even managed to catch a fourth fish despite the fact I was off to a very slow start. Have you ever eaten a seahorse before? You look like the type. Apparently I earned six points. And conveniently I can just sell all the fish in there. But good news, I need ten points to get anything off this guy. So I gotta do it again, which of course is gonna cost money. I see his game. 500 bells is fine. I made 3,600 selling fish the first time. Another four fish should be another six points, so that should be 12 total. He just hands me a bag, a tackle bag. Does it do anything? Oh, okay. I get to wear like a satchel now. Worth it. I did an easy 300 points for doing a tournament. And it's a nice day, so let's go find something on one of the other islands. And our island is that one we always come to that has oranges that we have on our island and flowers that we have on our island, but also coconuts. Can I just bring the whole tree back with me? Nope. 
I did find another red snapper, and I know those are valuable. And I'm bored. Driver, take me home. Hey stupid, wake up. I brought you some fish from another island. Though apparently I've actually been keeping up pretty good with all this. Is it true that I can plant things in these holes? It is! I could have been planting all sorts of rare fruit trees already. I visited like a hundred other islands and didn't take advantage of that. This better improve my island rating. Everyone loves coconuts. Especially this guy, because that's going to be the only thing he has to look at all day long. That probably won't grow next to a fence, but he can still look at the sapling. And you can just never have too many trees of any kind, really. And I can place rocks now! Garden rock! All I need is 15 stones. I know where to get those. I've always said that a large rock would look great right here. And I was absolutely right. Well, let's give it a few more days and see if my money tree grows. Well, that's disappointing, but it can only be so much longer because I think my cedar trees over there are grown, so one more day. We're at least starting to get a nice collection of items in this area. No one else seems to appreciate it though, but I do. I don't really remember how these work, but isn't it supposed to be dropping me money? And can I move on now? I've done literally 1 billion things to this island. Well, we did boost all the way up to a 3 star, so only 2 more to go. Looks like we're finally getting somewhere. Okay, well... Good luck with the concert. I'm gonna go do what I normally do. And even I don't know what that is exactly. That's a new one. Uh, yes, I'm here for the concert, but more so also to check my money tree that seems to have eaten $100,000. Great concert. Do we have a skip button? Oh, is this the end of the game? Because that was a lot sooner than I thought it was. Yep, beautiful concert, whatever that was. Where's my money tree? Oh good, you're finally coming to see me for once. He said he's giving me a new app that'll make island living... I was hoping for Tinder, but that works great. But now I can make paths, but can I use my miles to have more options, like paths, permits, changing cliffs and rivers? Finally, I can terraform the island of my dreams. But first things first. Finally, I was getting worried. Even if it hadn't paid out 10,000 bells? Uh, okay, didn't I put 99,000 into the tree and I got 30,000 back? Again, that's still not the worst investment I've made playing Animal Crossing. Okay, so I'm allowed to make paths. That's a pretty simple start so far. All right, I'm good at this. Get out of the way, bird. No. Outstanding story. Please get out of the way of my path. Yeah, you sweep it up real good. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go unlock more stuff. Waterscaping costs 6,000 miles. Cliff construction costs 6,000. Arch tile, etc. Well, I guess out of everything, I probably want cliff construction. So all I need are another 4,000 points. So I'm gonna get back to watering my flowers. Next time I want to improve the quality of the island, I'm just gonna make campfires. They only take three sticks each to make. Looks like I could probably earn some pretty easy miles with the stock market. Jumping into our first Sunday, we're not buying for 145. 77 bells per turn up isn't too bad at all. Before we actually buy anything, we need to withdraw some money. And I can't believe how much I've wasted just on... I don't know what really. Then I need to make some room, so I'm going to empty out all my stuff into my house. And then it's just a matter of finding a crazy turnip lady. But apparently it's Tuesday in game because I might have had the year wrong. Did I break the game last time with my turnip stupidity? Because I'm not seeing the turnip lady. And it's definitely a real Sunday today, 10.39am. Does she just not come to the island anymore? Okay, well on account of her not showing up anymore, we're gonna have to find another option for those miles. It really shouldn't be too hard to grind out another 2,000 points, selling fruit, customizing items, chopping wood, etc. 200 points for talking to my neighbors? I guess it's the first time for everything. Just make it short, I'm not actually here to listen. And after crafting this one final fishing rod, that should be all the miles I need for my earth constructor thing. Was it 6,000 points or 8,000? I forget already. 6,000, we're good. They are going to regret giving me this. And they thought the island was bad before. Alright, so we want cliff construction permit. And, um... Okay, I'm liking this. Plus, destroying the island gets me more miles. I wonder if this works, like, anywhere. There's a building nearby. Yep, wouldn't want to block that in at all. I'm quarantining the island. Not for any reason in particular, but I'm quarantining them. This also has the added benefit of protecting them in case of floods. Well, it's not my finest work, but it will keep them locked in. Or out, depending on where they are right now. This will all work better on a live test subject, so let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And they can just keep on fishing, it's no trouble to me. Alright, it won't let me really dig too close to them, and I don't want to risk talking to them either, so I'm just going to give them a little more room than I'd like. Alright, well, if the tree is in the way, I have a solution for that. We can just remove the whole tree. We already got the stars we needed anyway. Yep, exactly what I wanted. Who would ever actually give me a permit to do this stuff like this? Well, enjoy your new home. Watch out for the tarantulas, they get frisky at night. Didn't even realize I could do this. So if we go back to this, does that mean we could dig it up double high? 
Maybe not. It does dig Ohio though somewhere. Well, the pink bear won't be any trouble anymore. And I definitely can build two layers high because I'm up on an edge right now. So let's go one more layer up and see if we can go even higher. We sure can. So let's see just how high we can go. I assume we need to build a little bit wider out before we can build any higher. Can we just dig through the weeds? Oh, excellent, we can. I didn't want to have to pick any more of those. Seriously, it lets me build up so high but won't let me climb any higher. So I guess that's the size we can go. Four layers. The future of this island is not looking well. Now we just gotta remove this. And then the people that don't contribute anything to this island can stay on their side where they belong. For as long as they do still have a side. Oh look who came running by. Yeah, you worry about that butterfly. Not a care in the world. Bad things are coming. Sooner than later.